Hey everyone, it's Izzy. Hope you're having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. So once again, I have another album review. Today we're going to be reviewing Paramore's fifth album, After Laughter. This is a rebirth of Paramore. Let me tell you. So let's get into this album. Number one on the album is Hard Times. This song slayed. This song is so much fun. It makes you want to dance. I love that it expresses about even though you are really stressed in life, you can really enjoy it while it lasts, of course. It's just giving you positive vibes. Number two on the album is Rose Colored Boy. This song was fire. It's fun. It's cute. I love the idea of a pessimistic person being in love with an optimistic person. Expressing that difference in a relationship I think is very good and beautiful because it just lets out the emotion in them and really just doesn't have them close off. It creates a story. Number three on the album is Told You So. I love this song. It's Slayed. I think of Cold Summer Nights when I hear this song. The beauty in knowing that you are right but for the wrong reasons is a good reality check but it's still hard to swallow. It's how a positive person has hope for something but then it doesn't work out the way they expected it to and the negative people just still try to remind the positive person that they were wrong over and over over again but the positive person still has hope even if they were wrong about something and that it could be more special the next time around number four on the album is forgiveness i like this song i honestly really love the simplicity of the music but i love the intensity of the lyrics that it has i love the exploration of someone trying to get you to forgive them but if you go into details all of the emotions and the challenges of trying to accept that person's apology and trying to forgive them is a big struggle. It's a lot to deal with. So it's easier to say, I'm not ready to forgive you. I'm not ready to deal with it. You're gonna have to wait. I think is really strong. Number five on the album is Fake Happy. I love this song. This song really speaks to me right now in my life. Honestly, not being okay 100% of the time is okay. Sometimes you really have to pretend to be happy so that way people don't bother you or ask you why you're not happy or tell you why you should be happy. Sometimes it's better just to put on a smile so you can get on with your day, get on with your life, and really deal with it yourself. In reality, not everyone is happy. They just pretend to be happy because they don't want you to feel sorry for them. I really love that's what this song is really about. It's okay not to be okay, and sometimes you should be fake happy, and we are all on the same track but different scenarios, different paths, and, and that's okay. Number six on the album is 26. This song is fire, I loved it. This song really makes my heart hurt. It's really close to home. This song really expresses what I've been going through for the past few months, really feeling empty inside, but having hope for it all in the end. Your dreams, your goals, your expectations. Plus, I just turned 26, so there you go. Number seven is Pool. This song is good. Drowning in a relationship is no fun, let me tell you. you you want to float but you still try to dive in and stay in a relationship even though you're taking the chances of not surviving. You can only drown if you don't try to swim but just don't settle for floating either. Number eight is Grudges. I like this song. The song is a fun jam. I can see the song being in a teen 80s film when like the kids are trying to raise money for something. Going around to get the community to stay positive and trying to contribute to a cause. Number nine is Caught in the Middle. This song's okay. This song is good to listen to in the background just nodding your head back and forth but that's all it really gives me. Number 10 was supposed to be New Friends but I hate that song. It's not really a song, it's a spoken word and I can't stand it. Haley's not even in it so I took it out of the album and it's it's in my trash bin, I deleted it, it's fine. I just don't know why artists waste space like that. So, to me, number 10 is Idol Worship. This song is good. I don't really like the style of the verses, but I love the passion of the chorus. The song makes you wanna jump hop dance. I love how this song is saying that you can't rely on someone to solve your emotional problems for you or to be happy. Everyone is going through something. All we really can do is help each other get by, but we can't really fix each other. You can count on people to support you, but you can't count on them to fix you all the time. It's about being honest and telling someone you can't be the savior they want you to be for them and that you yourself are fighting your own battle. Number 11 is Tell Me How. I love this song. This song brings me all the feels. And it's. I also think it's a great way to end the album. Just like on a slow and sad emotional end. To ask yourself if this relationship is going to work and if it's worth staying in is never that easy. I really feel like the tone of the song really hit the message and the feeling that the track is trying to give. This is definitely an end of summer song. I really feel like this album is a rebirth of Paramore. 
It's a different sound, but you, when you hear it, you still know it's a Paramore album. So I didn't get the notion of After Laughter. I was really confused about it until I read something Haley had said in an interview and she said, I'm gonna read it off of here. She said, After Laughter is a notion of being happy and enjoying something, but once a thought or action brings you back to reality, then you realize you have to deal with life once again. And it's After Laughter. It's you're being happy one second, but then something that one single thought or emotion brings you back to reality and you have to deal with it again. I think that's why a lot of the lyrics are sad and really express frustration even though there's a lot of fun, colorful, hyperactive beats throughout the whole album. I really thought it was a clever aspect of delivery to this album. My top five songs in the album are number five, Idol Worship. Number four, Pool. Number three, Fake Happy. Number two, Tell Me How. And number one, 26. I think my least favorite song in the album is Caught in the Middle. I give this album 4.5 stars, but only by a little bit, like 10% away from being a five. Just because I feel like this era happened so fast. I feel like the single was released and then another single was released a week later and then the album dropped a month after and I felt like it was all very fast. I felt like there wasn't time to really enjoy, really be excited, anticipate this era and this new album coming. Even though it took a long time to make and we were waiting for a while, I just feel like I would have liked a um, um, more longing and more hype for this album. Supposedly this is Paramore's last album. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if it's true or not. I really hope it's not because I thought this album was good and I feel like they have a rebirth and they have so much more to sing and more stories to tell about. I'm really interested to see where their future goes. And if it is their last album, I'm still hoping that Haley will go solo like when Stefani did when No Doubt took a break just because I love Haley's voice and I love the music she releases. So everyone, that's my album review of Paramore's After Laughter. I'll leave a link down below to get the album. Tell me in the comments what your favorite songs were, what songs you didn't like, what you love about the album, what you didn't love about the album, and we can just reminisce in, on this last Paramore album, supposedly. I'm sad about that. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Izzy618, handle your scandal. I'm gonna go cry to this album. Okay, bye!